Hey, what's up guys, and welcome to another random tutorial. Today we're going to be taking a look at Dennis XL's Apex Launcher theme tutorial, and we're going to tweak it a bit to make it more compatible, or to make it compatible with more launchers, uh, rather. Um, now what, basically what I did is I've, throughout the last, like, six or seven months, I can't remember how long it's been, uh, since I started making icon packs, um, but I've been going to this thread, this is where I first learned how to do it, and it's an awesome tutorial. Great tutorial. It's very well thought out and explained in great detail. Um, so make sure you hit the thanks button as many times as you possibly can, which is only once, which sucks because this guy deserves way more thanks for that. And the people in the thread have just been extremely helpful uh, in, in helping out, uh, like just to name a few, like Pooley, uh, Desaif, uh, Bagarwa, if I'm, I'm saying that wrong, I know it. And Sammy Cakes and Blackberry Blank, just to name, name a few, like I said. Um, so the thing, uh, the thing is, if you go to this thread, which is in the the links in the description, go ahead and click on it. It'll take you here. Make sure you read through this and understand it. Make sure you've got all the prereqs, uh, and make sure you've gone through and understand what we're what he's talking about because what I've done is I've just taken all the information from the people that have asked questions, myself included, in this thread and their answers are just scattered across the internet and scattered across this thread and it gets really frustrating. So what I did is I took the base theme sample and added all the necessary changes to it that, to make it compatible with other launchers like Holo, ADW, Nova Launcher, Go Launcher, uh, Launcher Pro uh, you know, everything I found in that thread is now all in this icon pack blank template that I've set up on GitHub that you can fork um, and, you know, pull requests. You can commit changes if you'd like. Just let me know uh, if I've gotten something wrong. Uh, this seems to work uh, just fine for me, except for with the icon mask feature with Go Launcher. And if you've gone through that thread before, you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, so if you just need some specific stuff, go ahead and go here to the files and like specifically if you need the ADW uh, Java stuff it's in the source um, actually I think I'll upload just in the, all the necessary because I've got an ADW icon picker files folder I can probably just push later but here's the icon pack Java just make sure that before you sign it you have to change that right there to whatever your theme name is that's it. And in the README, I've put uh, the couple steps that you need to do. Um, but I felt that that was kind of a weak, watered down tutorial, so I figured I'd do a little video real quick uh, for anyone that's starting out. Here's the link to the ADW GitHub. Um, I'm going to add more links uh, later tonight, probably. Here's the original thread. Um, but for new users that you're just starting now, go ahead up here at the top and click on download this repository as a zip file and you will get this icon pack blank template master file unzip it to your workspace I'm just going to do it my, to my desktop and you'll get this master folder that will have this other folder in here called the template and just put it in your workspace and you don't need the readme or the master file you can just put that away and from there it's pretty much the same it's pretty much the same thing uh, you open it up and import go to new project android project from existing code next browse find it click ok mine's already there so it'll pop up apex theme sample and right click on it and go to refactor rename or if you know if you're a keyboard ninja, just go ahead and do this shortcut, which is Alt Shift R. And from there, go ahead and open it up. And I like to start at the manifest. Double click that. <coughs> yeah, excuse me. And make sure that this, uh, where it says a random package minimum, com, whatever, uh, change that to whatever you've changed the Java folder to, whatever, you know, com dot your name dot theme name. It's pretty, pretty basic right there. Just make sure that's changed, and uh, when you want to update, increment uh, this Android version code, 
up one number. So the first update would be number two, initial release is number one, so on and so forth. And then you can use your version name, and yeah, that's whatever you want it to be. I've added the uh, the function or the 2.2 uh, target as the minimum SDK required. So it will work with uh, ADW, Launcher Pro, Go Launcher, all those other ones on older devices or running change of bread and whatever. And there's that all taken care of for you. And in the XML, the XML folder's got everything necessary. I mean, you can even just go over what we've you know, uh, named our icons here. Uh, me, Sammy Cakes, uh, Black Bear Blank, Jacek Milanowski or Milanowski. Uh, I can't, I mean, I know I'm pronouncing that wrong. I'm bad with uh, names. Sorry, guys. Uh, but they've all added to this. Uh, I've added to it. It's I've got a separate GitHub just for this app filter. Um, if you've got some, you can go ahead and add to it. But there's that. If you need it, you can go ahead and look at uh, the icon pack. It's got all the names of the icons here that are associated with all these app filters and drawables and the arrays and uh, all that stuff. So that's all there for you as well from Jump. There's like in the app filter alone, what is it, like uh, 2000, I don't have my line numbers set up in Eclipse, so I don't even know how to do that in here. Uh, but yeah, there's all that for you, so you can just name your icons, uh, whatever, like sliding messaging, just sliding, big news, big news, whatever, so on and so forth. And for the icon picker in ADW, you got to have this main XML folder in your layout. And the string hello, this is basically the icon picker view, and this hello string is, a, is just a text view on top of the icon picker. Um, and, and instead of going for a description, I chose to just put a stupid little message in for the users like, hey, thanks for downloading Flatcons, you're awesome, but you know, you already knew that type stuff. Just stupid little shit uh, to maybe put a smile on someone's face. So you can either do a description or whatever you want. You can tell, tell them whatever you want right there uh, in the strings folder, or the strings file. Right down here in ADW, the hello string, that's what that is. And make sure you change the theme name, uh, otherwise it'll just say theme name here. Uh, when users go to change their icons via the home screen, and that would be just embarrassing, right? And hit, of course, Control S to save, or you can go up to this little disk right there and click save. <coughs> but I think that covers all of the major edits to the original. Um, make sure you put your icons in the XHDPI folder. And this also, I've taken out all the .9 PNGs. So, um, if you're going to want to edit those, you can get those from the original Apex theme sample. Uh, uh, make sure you get the theme sample, though, not just the icon pack, because I don't think it comes with those, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, just make sure that app filter and icon pack with the underscores and assets. And yeah, everything else is pretty much you don't have to do anything other than change the name, refactor, oh, uh, let's go into source and make sure that this package name is also the same as the one in Java in the iconpack.java file and the Android manifest as well. Just make sure all those match. Otherwise you're going to get, uh, you're going to be seeing red errors like this. You'll see a whole list of errors down here. Uh, but after that, everything, if everything's good to go, everything's where it's supposed to be. Uh, make sure your launcher icons, basically the icon that represents your icon pack, is going to one of each. One of, one of those will be in each of these folders: H, L, M, and X, H, D, P, I. So make sure make sure you size those appropriately. X, H, D, P, I will be 96 by 96. H, D, P, I 72 by 72. L, D, P, I is 36, and M, D, P, I is 48. I think I don't know. Check the uh, developer.android.com for that. Uh, specifically, because I just have a template for those. I forgot what size they are. Anyway, moving on. Once you got everything correct, everything's where it's supposed to be, and you have no errors, right click, go to export, make sure it's export as Android application, make sure the name's right, and uh, you'll have to find your uh, key store or make a new one. Uh, if you need to make a new one, click create new key store, and 
make, and then browse to where you want it to be made, and then come back and uh, password confirm. That, uh, you can Google how to make one if you don't have one already made, and then type your password in. <coughs> choose your alias for your signature. Type your password. Choose your destination where you want the APK to be exported to. I'll just use desktop since that's where everything is. Click finish and it will be in the form of an APK. And now if you want to ex you if you want to distribute it through the Play Store, you can go through that, sign up as a developer, pay the fee, uh, get your console all set up. Um, if you don't know how to do that, there's plenty of tutorials online to teach you how to do all that. Um, also, you can make just start a thread on XDA and uh, show off what you've made. Uh, put a link in the original thread to the theme sample if you if you want to show off. Don't uh, don't put a big old picture in there. I guess I tried that once and that you know didn't go so well. But uh, if you have any questions, you can email me. Um, you can find me on XDA. Um, you can also go through that thread on XDA. Seriously, I have read it front to back like six to seven times. So. Um, if you don't want to, just hit me up and I'll answer uh, as soon as I can. It'll probably be quicker just to go through and read all the comments, though, because I'm pretty busy this week. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. Just distribute it however you want. Put it up on your website as a free download. Um, you can also check out my other tutorials on how to make an icon. If you're wanting to know how to you know, get a cool look for an icon or make a cool base or whatever. Um, and also check out the app filter XML that I was talking about earlier that I've made public um, do the readme uh, thanks to Sammy Cakes uh, who helped uh, when I was first starting out a lot like I said before and it is getting pretty big we've had four pushes in the last uh, week I think holy crap yeah that's huge it's I think I saw like a 2,900 no, 100, 200. Yep, uh, 2,315 uh, lines of code in that one app filter alone. So that's free to use. Just if you use it and uh, end up adding more to yours, all I ask is just add what you add to yours to this so we can keep this growing. And if you don't, no big deal. No one will ever know. Uh, but yeah, make sure you give uh, while you're in this thread make sure you hit that thanks button as many times as you can uh, I think on the on the web you can only do it like eight times but through the apps you can do it unlimited so go do that get started if you have questions please email me questions in the comments hardly ever get answered because I don't get notified about comments anymore so if you want to say hey thanks or whatever just click uh, the thanks button on the thread or just say thanks if you have a question shoot me an email. I get notifications for those and I can answer you back almost immediately from any device that I just happen to have in my hand at that given moment because if I, the only time I don't have a device in my hand I can't answer you back so I'm sleeping. So if you need files and stuff I have to be at my computer but if it's just a simple question that I can answer it'll, I'll shoot you. I'll get you right back. So remember that. A random package at gmail.com and thanks for watching.